Good morning. Have you heard that? <laughs> so, let's see here. Anna, you are very kind and gentle. And I like your fashion choice today. It's very nice. And Emma, I'm still getting to know you. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, I definitely have noticed that you have a sense of adventure. <laughs> and Leona, you are very confident. And Nadia, you are very sincere and helpful. You're welcome. And Alexis, you're very creative. And Katie, you have quite a sense of humor. So, you are all wonderful, and I could go on about the great things about each of you. So, how does it feel to hear something nice? It feels good, doesn't it? That's, that's for later. <laughs> all right, so it does feel pretty good to hear nice things, but people aren't always nice, are they? No. Have you ever heard someone say something not nice about you? Many times, all right, I'm sorry. Yeah, so sometimes, maybe it's a classmate, we can talk about it later, but we, uh, maybe it's our family or friends, can happen. <laughs> and doesn't feel good, does it? It can hurt, uh, you know, when we hear mean things. I remember when I was in eighth grade, classmate said something mean to me. It wasn't about my clothes, but I even remember what I was wearing that day. I remember it so much, what that person said. It can stick with you. And for some reason, those mean things have a habit of sticking a little bit more than the nice things. So, I also want you to think about it. How does it feel to say something mean about someone? How do you? <laughs> How do you feel when you do it? Do you feel good about yourself after? Yes. Oh, you do? I know in the immediate, yeah. it can feel that way. But I've also noticed I don't feel good when I hurt someone's feelings. I end up kind of feeling yucky. But I also notice I feel good when I make someone feel good. It's nice to make them smile. What's your question? Do I ever make someone feel bad? I certainly have. Not, I was not the best thing, but you know, I'm not perfect. Oh geez, I don't have time to go through. I've made a lot of mistakes, but I've certainly, I've certainly said some mean things that I probably shouldn't have said. And it, why say them again? <laughs> well, we, um, I have certainly made people feel bad and Nikki, and it's not good. So, before we speak, or before we write something, um, before we put an idea out into the world, we should think about how it might make someone feel. And we should maybe think about how it will make us feel too. Our words are important and they have an impact. So our second reading today reminds us of this. It says, a word out of your mouth may seem to have no account, but it can accomplish nearly anything or destroy it. It only takes a spark to start a forest fire. And a careless or wrongly placed word out of your mouth can do that. By our speech, we can ruin the world, turn harmony into chaos, throw mud on a reputation, and send the whole world up in smoke, and we go up in smoke with it. That doesn't sound great. Or, it makes me think of this thing that I heard a lot growing up, and I'm sure some of you heard this too. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So, something we can maybe think about. So, we can hold our tongues, or we can maybe fill the world with good stuff. How's that sound? No, I'm thinking about it. All right, let's pray. God, thank you for your love and help us to remember that what we do and what we say matters. And 
If we fill the world with mean and nasty thoughts, that's what we get. So help us remember to fill that world with love. And if we can't find anything nice to say, help us to remember to hold our tongues and say nothing at all. Amen. <laughs>